Yankee and the Brit and the RTM Radio Network. Home is in her eyes. The Greg Finger Band. Thank you, guys, over and over and over again. You guys are a funny bunch. What a great band. Great music. Those guys are awesome. They're jamming tonight up in Indiana, up there in Yankee land. But <laughs> yes, whatever. <they> are. <laughs> Kelly Lee Phillips. Kelly on the Lee line. Phillips, for I real. I hope you're still listening, Debra. <laughs> Hello, Dov. Hey. Hey, how are y'all? Doing hey. all right. And what is that place there? How do you say that place on Massachusetts. the phone? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's your fault. You can move anytime to Texas that you want to. I know. I should. I should. I have family there. But boy, I hear a Boston accent over there. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no? Yeah? You better say y'all. Well, yeah, I'm from Georgia originally. Yeah, well, guess what? You don't sound Georgian anymore. Oh, man, that's not good. <laughs> oh, she sounds gorgeous. Yeah, I heard it, Rachel. <laughs> I heard her when she said, that's not good. <clears throat> not good at all. If I'm starting to get a Yankee accent, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, don't do that. Good God, no. Oh, my God, can you hear her? I'm trying to get my <laughs> Texas accent going over here. <laughs> No, no more Yankee. So how are you? Everything all right up there in the cold, frozen tundra of the north? Um, it was good. It's good if it quits in Ireland. I'd be happy. Are you getting that big <laughs> storm they was talking about? It's supposed to hit tomorrow. We got about 18 inches here yesterday. Jeez. No, day before yesterday. Are you serious? Yeah. And then about three inches last night. And then we're supposed to get uh, about another foot. Tomorrow, and then more coming in on Thursday. Good God, I'm so glad I don't come up that way anymore. Oh, I don't miss that at all. That whole East Coast can just... they always talking about California falling in the ocean, man. The East Coast needs to drop off. <laughs> I would be more than happy to go back to Georgia. That means they must be getting about, what, four feet up in upstate New York then? I wouldn't doubt it, probably. I used to live up there by the Finger Lakes, and when it would snow up there, by God, you just knuckled down for a few days because you weren't going anywhere. I get nervous enough driving in the snow here. <laughs> I bet. Don't you work from home? No. I work at the hospital full time, and then I do everything else from the house. Uh, how'd you get into this uh, working with all these bands? Um, well, I have had friends that were in the music industry a long time, and I grew up with family that's been in the music industry. And for the longest time, they said I should get into it just because I'm a very much a people person. And so I finally said, you know what, screw it. A couple of years ago, decided I would try to do it, and I haven't stopped ever since. <laughs> well, obviously you're good at it. How do you, uh, I, so you actually do promotional work, or do you actually schedule these guys from what Greg was saying then? Yeah, I uh, book shows for um, both Lance Stinson and the Greg Finger Band, and also for another artist out of Ohio, Matt Van Foster. Right, yeah, we had Matt on the show. He's awesome yeah. too, man. All these, everybody, I you've, all them. everyone you've sent has been totally fantastic. You obviously have good taste in uh, who you work and deal with. Yeah, I always say that I can't work with anybody that I don't like their music because I can't go out and promote them and try to get places to book them if I don't enjoy it. Right. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. What do you think to the Greg Finger Band? What do what? What do you think to the Greg Finger Band? I love their music. Yeah? Pretty good. I mean, they it? perform. Huh? Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Yeah, and I mean, they're already performing so much. I can't wait to see, you know, what all new places they're going to go to going forward and trying to get them all over the U.S. because, of course, we want to get to where all their fans are. So mm -hmm. get them into festivals and everything else. So Now, you said you, you uh, schedule concerts and things for these guys, you know, their places to go. Uh, what about some mm -hmm. of these? What about some of these other uh, artists that you've sent over our way? How do you connect with these people? Oh, um, well, well, different ones like Houston Bernard Band. I, they're from up where I am right now, um, so I've seen them live before, and you know I've helped them out um, merch and stuff like that. And um, bo uh, Boom Lights, um, the drummer with them is um, Adam. And he actually used to play drums for Lance Stinson. So um, I became friends with him and have enjoyed his music ever since. And he does singing as well. So it's just different ways, you know, um, people I found on Twitter that I've kept in touch with because I've enjoyed their music. People I've seen live up here or live down south and, you know, ones that friends have told me about. I try to keep, you know, anything new coming, keep an eye out for it. And then I go down to 
Nashville every year for CMA Fest, so I try to keep an eye out on all the new talent that's down there when I go down. I think it's awesome the way you get involved with these people. How how do you get somebody new to sign up with you to book their acts and things? I mean, do they come to you, or do you go to them and say, hey, I can do this for you? Um, with It depends. Mainly both of them have come to, they've come to me. I mean, I've mentioned that I've helped other people book shows before, but, um, and a lot of times because they're wanting to come to New England, and I have, co- you know, some connections up here. So it's just, um, you know, getting to know them and then, you know, them getting to know me and knowing they can trust me or not. And then that's when they, you know, usually will reach out, ask, say, you know, we'll help them out. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's it's a, it's a word of mouth kind of connection. And basically somebody exactly. says, yeah, this girl can do a great job, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, and so you're just building on that. How long have you been doing it? Two years. That's not very long. Not at all, no. You know, not in the scheme of you, this uh, kind of thing. You must have just put uh, Lance forward our way not long after you started then. Because I think you've yep, been... Yeah, exactly. I think we've had Lance on twice, haven't we, in yeah, that was, two different years. Yeah, it was a couple He's years. He's the one I started that. with. Ah, well, you started now, how'd with you a manage, good one. i got to ask you, how'd you manage to get hooked up with Lance? Actually, um, I was a fan of his. Um, I was a fan of his. I was asking him about when we were going to see him up north performing. And he was like, well, can you help me out finding a place? And we did. We got him booked up here. And then ever since. <laughs> you know, because everybody you've sent, in my eyes, and just listening to their music, of course, that's all we have to go on is their music. But they're all they're all professionals. They all sound fantastic. They have great sound, great talent. Mm-hmm. They, You know, they're all the bands and the music is tight. Everything comes together. I mean, you're really working with some great people here. Yeah. And that's the thing, too, is um, when you're working with people that are sweethearts or extremely nice, it's you don't mind spending all that extra time doing other stuff to help them out as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you're a fan of their music, it makes you enjoy and want to do it that much more. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're the same way with our yeah. customers. You know, if somebody treats us nice and shows a little respect, we'll, we'll go out of the way a little bit to help them out when we can. Mm-hmm. I think that's human nature, really. Yep, Exactly. Well, it sounds like you're having a pretty good time way up north there. I got to ask you, how'd you end up in Boston from Georgia? Um, actually, ex-husband. He's from up here. We had moved up here, and I just never left. I see. Ex. As I say tonight, Randy is sucking with the questions. He's not even asked you what you drive or whether you get it dirty. <laughs> uh, I don't drive a Ford. Uh-huh. I bet she's Get got a, off this call. Probably got a Nissan. Well, no, I have, well, I have two. I have a Chevy Colorado 4x4 All right. and a, um, a Dodge, a Dodge Dart Rally Edition. Ooh, isn't that fancy? Now, I'm okay with a Dodge <laughs> like that because uh, my buddy before he passed away was a Cuda fan, and he had a couple 70 Cudas, of course, you know, the classics. and uh, So that's okay. Those are good cars. <laughs> we'll let you slide. You'll let me slide on the Chevy, is that what you're I saying? I thought a cooter was something you passed on when you kiss a girl that's too young for you. That's cooties. Cooties. Oh, <laughs> oh I need to keep up. <laughs> Why didn't you, what, uh, made, what made you, I'm really curious, what made you stay up there with the weather like it is versus being down in Georgia? Um, well, I had a good job up here um, working at the hospital. And um, then yep. I ended up meeting the gentleman that I'm with now, Mike. And with our business that we ended up starting up here, we just uh, stayed up here. Yeah, but you could have went back to uh, Georgia and got a hospital job. Yeah, but uh, then we um, we have a business, too, that does uh, property management and snow plowing. And that sort of took off up here. So we've been doing that. Oh, my gosh. Do you ever and... sit down for five minutes? No, not at all. Pretty much. <laughs> not unless I'm going to a concert. Well, how in the hell do you get time to make cornbread when you're that busy? He likes to cook. I have no time. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yep. I oh. found me a man that likes to cook, so that was wonderful. <laughs> now, where's your where's your latest man from? He's from up there? Um, He's born up here, raised in South Carolina, oh, and yeah. lived in Florida for a while. But oh, he he's got it all. Up here. He's got a little bit of everything then. No wonder you're all right. Yeah, he's an Air Force guy, so he was in the Air Force, so he was all over. I just, uh, you know, uh, being from Ohio, Northeast Ohio, we get the snow like you get. Got the snow. I've been down here in Texas eight years. I don't know. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I drove truck for 20 years before I moved here. I can't imagine in my life why anybody would want to stay up there when you can move to the south where, you know, like here winter is like two weeks long 
And then the weather starts yep. getting nice again. You know why anybody wants to stay up there? Just beyond me, but people. Do I don't know. Place. I always talk to them like, "Can't we go to Georgia, Tennessee, <laughs> somewhere?" <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Florida, you know? I think mine's okay. partly hillbilly blood, though, because my mom's purebred hillbilly, and you know I got all that hillbilly in me. So that accent every once in a while comes out when I talk to my kin, and so that might be what part of it is. I probably do have a little bit of southern blood in me. <laughs> Yeah, if it was up to me, I would go down south again because all my family's down there too. So. Well, that's just. I'm the only one that moved away from the hometown. Well, ain't that just sp- something special? So, <laughs> what is your future plans with all these handsome young bands that you keep getting? Well, of course, we'd love to get them out there more, and you know, all over, and get you know, especially them on the radio because that's going to bring you know more fans in for them. And you know, I can't wait to hear more music by all of them. That's what I love. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, keep sending okay. it. You get that music. And I would love to be it. able to get out and travel to some places I haven't been to, you know, eventually, you know, with these guys and get, you know, like Texas, because I haven't been out there. Oh, you're always welcome to come, come to Texas. Okay. Exactly. Bring that Georgia to... accent and some of that country cooking with you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that family not too far from Dallas, so I should get out there. Well, see, you ain't got no reason not to come. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, do you have Mickey Lamentia under your wings? Then, are you going to try and put him our way? I sent him a message a little while ago. I'm just waiting to hear back from him. Oh, awesome! Well, uh, you know, I personally, I'm sure Dono agrees. Is uh, we just been tickled to death since you've come along because you send all these people over here and they've been great and we have so much fun with them. We don't have to be, uh, you know, and I like a lot of them because we don't have to be so formal and. Uh, you know, we don't do formal, that's for sure. And, uh, of course, we're nothing like terrestrial radio. We don't care about uh, we don't care about divorces and ex-wives. You know, we just want to have fun and find out who you are and what it's all about. That's uh, our thing. Exactly. And, and you've made that so easy for us and so much fun. And the music is just, the music is beyond great, you know. And, and I was a big country fan in the 90s, you know. Um, oh, me too. Leroy Parnell and all those guys, Sammy Kershaw, and all those guys were Jim Martina mm-hmm. McBride. You know, and now all that kind of Diamond disappeared. Rio, yeah, and a lot of that disappeared. <laughs> and you've been bringing back these people that are playing that kind of music again, and it's just it's just mm. friggin' awesome. I don't know what else to say. You know, really blows us away. We look yeah. forward to, you know, especially me now, I look forward to Saturday night too now because it's country, and country's starting to uh, listen to these guys. It's really getting back to the kind of stuff I like because I'm a classic rocker. You know, I was raised, mm-hmm. on, raised on Van Halen and that kind of thing, but you... Uh, You've done wonders for this. I just, you know, I bow down to you. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. I'm glad to do it. You know, like I said, I love getting their music out there. And the one I was telling her about that she was asking if um, I can uh, get him on there. Um, He is really old. Um, He makes you think of, like, Waylon and Merle Haggard. Yeah, Yeah, right. Exactly. uh, so if I can get him on there with you, I definitely will. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, you should tune in tomorrow and wait till you hear Steve Hickman. I'm sure I mentioned him. I'm sure I sent you a link for his music the other day. Steve Hickman is going to be on the show tomorrow with Keith Sampson. And we had Keith Sampson on uh, last week. Yeah. We're both going to be on together tomorrow. It's going to be a great night. So uh, you want to tune in? Oh, yeah, that was on during the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's why I missed it. Oh, <laughs> Well, I have posted it up. If you get time, just have a listen. They're brilliant guys, you know. They really, really are going to go far, I hope. Yeah, right. I will have fun. Debra says you have to say hello to her. Who says? Debra that holds the tits in the chat room. Oh, Debra. (laughs) Yeah, Debra Debra that holds the tits, the ones that hold the boobies. (laughs) Hey, Debra. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm just tickled to death you took a few minutes to come over and hang out with us. That's pretty nice. Of course. Anytime. See, there's that Georgia accent. Anytime. Anytime. I heard that. Did you ever hear, um, I think it might have been either uh, American Idol or X Factor or something, a guy called Philip Phillips from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Isn't he just amazing? Yeah, he is good, yes. I think I was absolutely glued to the TV while he was on. I just can't remember what program it was, but I was glued because there's just so amazing. many good Georgia uh, Georgia artists. Yes, so many. Um, there's a good. Well, he's not from Georgia. He's from South Carolina. Um, 
Doug McCormick. If none, of, if y'all or your listeners haven't ever heard of him, he is amazing too. He's got um, a new album out, and he is really, really good. Ah, we actually watched um, a program called America's Dumbest. Yeah, and they were all people from Georgia trying to trying to uh, steal cash machines from petrol stations <laughs> by uh, by hooking up like cables and uh, connecting them to the back of the trucks and uh, driving off um, and all you could see was uh, cash machines uh, just being dragged dragged across you keep the road beating up, you and, keep beating up on them rebels and she's gonna knock you in the next week them throwing chairs <laughs> and then throwing chairs at the windows to try and break a window at the petrol station and every time Every time there was a program of America's Dumbest, it was always people from Georgia doing stupid stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> hey, I spent a lot of time in Georgia. I like it down there. <laughs> I love it down there. Well, I'm from the north part, the north mountains of Georgia. No, nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's even prettier than the rest of it. Yep. Right there. I was born right there in, well, Rome, Georgia. So right on the Alabama line and not far from the Tennessee line, right up there in the corner. Yeah, beautiful place, man. I love driving around mm-hmm. up there. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous area. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look, <laughs> look at Greg McCormick. Ooh, I'm going to like his page. <laughs> can, can we keep him, Kelly? Can we take him home and keep him? <laughs> He's actually amazing. I actually, first time I ever heard of him was two years ago when I was at CMA Fest in Nashville. And he was playing in the celebrity softball tournament. And then I heard his music and everything and fell in love with him right after. And he is the nicest guy on social media and stuff like that. But I love his music. Love, 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 love it. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll check him out when we're done here. Look at those eyes. I know. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Oh, I think we should be able to keep him. You'll love his music. He has one, um, oh my goodness, what's the name of that song? I'm drawing a blank now, but I'll get it to you. (laughs) Chop, chop. (laughs) <laughs> Here know, he right? is, look. There's Larry. Larry in the chat room says he has a friend from Adele in Georgia. We've been wondering where Larry is all night. I know. I, Adele. I think that's him. South Georgia, right? Yeah, Georgia. I believe so. Oh, wow. Well, that is so awesome for you to tune in. Now, you have to go through the same rigmarole that everybody else has to go through. Randy, hit her with the oh, 10 God. questions. What is your okay. favorite word? <laughs> My favorite word. Oh my goodness. Um, chop chop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I honestly I have no clue. Well, what's your least favorite I word? I have too many. <laughs> Do what? What's your least favorite word? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to that. What turns you on? Um, a good love song. What turns you off? Cocky attitude. What sound do you love? Good music. What sound do you hate? It doesn't have to be a type. Um, what sound do I hate? Bagpipes. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, they drop me up the wall. <laughs> oh, I think they're cool as hell. Bon Scott with ACDC played bagpipes in his, some of his rock and roll music. I think that's too cool. Um, <laughs> they drive me crazy sometimes. <laughs> what, what's your favorite curse word? Fuck. <laughs> what profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Um, if I could sing, I would love to be a singer, but I can't, and I would kill your ears. <laughs> <laughs> what profession would you not like to do? Uh, that person that pumps out the poop. <laughs> you know you look well, poop. Two is people. As I do. <laughs> Whatever they're called. <laughs> What's she talking about? She says the person that comes out to clear your poop. <laughs> <laughs> the septic system guy? Yeah, those people. <laughs> The shit suckers. I know that she loves her poo humor. <laughs> okay, finally, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You did a good job, and I'm glad you didn't screw up. There you go. That's it. There you go. Yep. You are free. <laughs> I'm free. I'm over here being attacked by a cat anyway, so. <laughs> oh, not quite free then. <laughs> well, thank you, dear, very much for coming by and hanging out with us and bringing that southern accent back to life. Oh, thanks for having me. You're welcome. You take care, Kelly. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Train 
trains, trucks, and good old country music with the Yankee and the Brit on RTM Radio. <laughs> 